What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows. We live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG, KQKC, Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And um, don't forget about the TKO Debate Series, man. We got a fire-ass debate coming up this week. I got my brother BFTB Boxing taking on my sister Boxiana the Menace from Queens of the Ring. They going at it over Devin Haney versus Tank Davis. That's Wednesday night. Show starts at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. That's for sure going to be a debate that you don't want to miss. So be sure to tune in for that, man. But let's go ahead and get it popping and get into our video, man. Tim Zhu versus Tony Harrison is official. And I don't want it to get misconstrued what I'm saying in this video. So they fighting in March 12th. They fighting in Australia. And they fighting for the WBO Interim World Championship. So basically, the right to fight Jamel Charlo. I understand from Tim Zhu's perspective why he's taking this fight. I really do. Um, but I got some questions about Tony Harrison, and maybe y'all can help me out in this video, right? Or help me out in the comment section as you watch this video. So, Tim Zhu, I understand. Jamel Charlo, him and Tim Zhu were supposed to fight this upcoming weekend. We were supposed to have a weekend of Charlo versus Tim Zhu and Arthur Baterbiev versus, um, versus um, Anthony Yard, while also having a Lexus Rocha fight, while also having a, a Nathaniel Gallimore against the guy from the Ukraine. I can't think of his name. Uh. I got it right here because I'm studying for the prediction. Yeah, Gallimore versus uh, Serhi Bohachuk out of the Ukraine. That's going down Friday. So we were supposed to have a bi busy weekend of boxing. It's still going to be a real good weekend, right? But Tim Zhu and Jamel Charlo was supposed to be fighting this Saturday night on top of all the other fights that we just mentioned. But as we all know, Jamel Charlo broke his hand, um, and so he had to. they had to postpone the fight or he had to pull out of the fight, and they're going to obviously – Probably try to reschedule him with the winner of this fight. So I understand Tim Zhu staying busy. And I got mad props and mad respect for Tim Zhu because he could have very easily just waited on his title shot against Jermail Charlo. Straight up and down. He could he could have just very easily been like, all right, shit, whenever your hand is better, we'll get it popping. I'll just keep training for you. But to take on a boxer that's as talented and as skillful as Tony Harrison. That speaks volumes to, to Tim Zhu and his belief in himself. Now, is it misplaced belief? Is he squandering his opportunity to fight for a world title because he could very well lose the fight to T Tony Harrison? I mean, maybe so. But this is what I believe, you know what I'm saying? If you if you feel like you can beat Jamel Charlo, then you need to have that same confidence and feel like you can beat Tony Harrison. So from Tim Zhu's perspective, I'm, I'm cool with the fight because he's fighting because the fighter that he was supposed to fight isn't going to be ready to fight because they had an injury and he's staying staying sharp staying in shape and obviously going to have a camp and fight tony harrison and i got mad respect for him he ain't in my opinion there's no argument to be made that he's ducking any smoke to fight tony harrison it's just that jamel charlo's not available right now that's why i ain't tripping on tim zoo now tony harrison though i got some questions the tim zoo fight is in australia so maybe tony harrison Tim Zhu and his team over in Australia, maybe they just offered him a bag. Maybe they just offered him a bag so big that he just couldn't turn it down. But if it's anything other than that, I got questions because if you, Tony Harrison, you was already about to fight Sebastian uh, Fundora for his WBC interim title that will put you in the same position as you are getting in with Tim Zhu, you're fighting for the same WBO title that you were fighting for when it was the WBC. The only thing that's different is the opponent. So my question to Tony Harrison and my brothers and sisters from Detroit and all my Tony Harrison fans, why he looking forward, why he willing to fight Tim Zhu, but he wasn't willing to fight Sebastian Fundora. And he pulling out of that fight that was ordered by the WBC, and that fight was all but done. 
and he would have been fighting for the interim WBC title, which puts him in the same position as the WBO interim title. That position is to fight Jamel Charlo for his undisputed title. Both fights put you in the same position if you're Tony Harrison. So it's only one or two reasons. It's only one or two reasons. You feel like you got a better shot to beat Tim Zhu than you do to beat Sebastian Fundora. Or they offered you a bag that you just can't refuse and you got to take that shit. Because he's willing to go fight Tim Zhu in Australia for the WBO interim when he could have fought Sebastian Fundora in America for the WBC interim, bro. And they give you the same opportunity to become Jamel Charlo's mandatory. So I need somebody to start telling me and start telling me right now that he's doing this because they offer him a big bag. And he's making way more money. To fight Tim Zhu, then he making the fight Sebastian Fundora. Because if the money's about the same and you don't have to travel to a whole nother country and both fighters offer you the same thing, that's to be in position to fight and get your get back against Jamel Charlo because y'all won one right now. You beat Jamel Charlo and he came back and knocked your ass out. Y'all need a rubber match. I get that. But these fights put you in the same position, and the Sebastian Fundora fight was ordered first. So why the hesitation for that? Maybe my brother L Dub, maybe I'll holler at L Dub, maybe he'll know something. Because I'm looking at Tony Harris, and I ain't caught. Listen, I'm not, you know, we use that word duck very, we got to be able to prove it. Like Terrence Bud Crawford, he's a goddamn duck. He's ducking Earl Spence, bro. Tony Harrison, we can't quite prove it just yet. The thing that'll prove it is if the money's about the same. If the money the same and you're willing to go fight another man in his home country and he giving you the same shit that the other guy giving you, then I gotta, I gotta look at you sideways. So somebody let me know what's up, man. Somebody let me know what's up. Cause I would have loved, I love this fight. I don't think this is a bad fight, but I was excited for Tony Harrison and Sebastian Fundor. I was excited for that fight. I thought it'd be a great fight for both fighters, a tough fight for both fighters. But something in Tony Harrison is making him prefer Tim Zhu over Sebastian Fundor. Now, I would dare to say it's because Sebastian Fundor is a damn anomaly. You know what I'm saying? Six foot five, 80 some inch arm reach, running out this mud with the same arm reach as damn near Deontay Wilder. He got a heavyweight length. In a little bitty 154 pound body, man. I don't even know how you six foot five and a half, six six, and you get down to 154 pounds, but he finds a way to do it. Maybe it's because he's so unorthodox. He's a long ass fighter that actually fights better on the inside, and his best punch are short, sharp, crisp uppercuts. When you think of a long fighter, you usually think of straight punches. Maybe he got a good jab. Maybe he got a good straight left or a straight right if he's an orthodox fighter. Not Sebastian Fundor, though. He a damn anomaly, and he like an in, a inverse, bro. He like an inside-out fighter. Like, what you think you get when you look at him, that ain't what you get when you get in the ring. The, thing, the things that you think he is good at, he actually better at the shit that you think he might struggle with. That shit crazy. And so maybe that's it. Maybe that's why Tony is running around here and he'd rather fight Tim Zoo. Because Tim Zoo ain't got the work rate that Sebastian Fundora got. Tim Zoo. Got put down by um Goucher, put his ass down. And we just saw, yeah, Lubin put Fundora down, but Fundora rearranged his whole face. Rearranged his whole face. Had him looking like the elephant man, bro. So maybe Tony Harrison is like, yeah, I prefer Tim Zoo. I think they give me a better shot to get to Jamel Charlo. Maybe that's it, bro. Maybe that's it. But, or maybe he's just getting a bigger bag to go fight Tim Zoo in Australia and there's money that he can't pass up. But I need to know something because right now we got a lot of questions and I need somebody to let me know what the answers are, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. And if you got a breakdown or a prediction, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Don't forget about our live shows. We live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We live every Sunday morning with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings. 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I appreciate everybody watching the video. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Oh, and do not forget about the TKO debate series. We got a lit one coming to y'all Wednesday night. 
Wednesday night, the show starts at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I got my brother BFTV Boxing going up against my sister Boxiana the Menace from Queens of the Ring. They doing the Devin Haney Tank Davis debate. Y'all got to tune in for that one. It's going to be epic. It's going to be one y'all don't want to miss. Appreciate everybody watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.